When charged particles impact solid state nuclear track detectors, which are also known as CR39, they create a conical shaped crater, also known as a track. Sometimes particles will stop within the CR39 material, sometimes they'll go clear through. These images represent several of the type of tracks you might see from charged particles. The geometry of these tracks is very specific and can be mathematically calculated and thus correlated to particle type as well as particle energy. This next image is a photograph of two actual particle tracks recorded in a CR39 detector. What you're looking at is the edge of a detector that's been sectioned right through the center line of two multi-micron sized tracks. It probably was not an easy thing to do. You can see, as expected, that the track ends in a small tip, a pinpoint, where the particle lost its momentum and came to a stop. Pamela Mossier Boss, one of the lead researchers at Spaywar San Diego, who's been performing low energy nuclear reaction research, historically known as cold fusion, told me that when she looked at detectors from her experiment and she varied the focus on her microscope to focus either on the top of the CR39 surface or deeper within the track, she could clearly see that the area in focus showed a progressively narrowing depth, terminating in a pinpoint, exactly what you'd expect from a real nuclear particle track. I asked her if she could put a video camera on the microscope, but she didn't have one available. So instead, I asked her to take a series of, of 26 sequential still images, one at each stop on the focus knob, each stop focusing deeper into the track. I then assembled the images into a slideshow that automatically advances to each successive image. And this is what you're looking at. Hopefully, it gives you a feel for what it's like to be looking through the microscope yourself.